Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Before we continue on, we're actually going to grab all of the items near the Bean Bean Kingdom Airport. In the last video, we actually beat Mom Piranha, who was pathetically easy, actually. I expected that battle to be much tougher, but using my expert strategy of uh, Firebrand and Knockback Bros combination, we took her down pretty quickly. So yeah, there's a ton of beans and all sorts of things around here uh, to get. <laughs> I mean, there's circles everywhere, there's also those sprouts that you get beans from. They are everywhere. There's also a rally block, so let's see what we can do here. One, two, three, four! Yeah, you can do rally blocks up to three times, actually. I'm not going to show all three times, I'm just going to show one on camera per rally block. Probably won't even go back and do this one again. I have plenty of money at this point. The greed wallet actually really helps with that, so... There you go. Um, more incentive to get the greed wallet really early. Oh okay. god, 23, 24. Oh, couldn't get 24. Damn it. My record's 24, by the way. So my record remains at 24. Another chuckle bean. Make sure to check up here. Yeah, looks like we got everything. So I hope the cutscene doesn't trigger. You know, because we still have a ton of stuff to get down here. I really don't want the cutscene to trigger prematurely. I don't think it will. Uh, we got those at the end of the last episode. Down here, here's another one. And we do not want to do a spin jump. Mario, how many times, how many goddamn times do I have to tell you, don't spin jump when I want you to do the Luigi dunk? What the shit? Okay, uh, so there's Lady Lima. So it looks like we have to talk to Lady Lima to trigger the cutscene, which is good because we have plenty of items to get. So make sure we grab all of these. Seriously, there's like over 10 chuckle beans down here. Definitely grab all of them because, you know, why wouldn't you? Why would you not want chuckle beans? I don't count. I don't know. He's on third, and I don't care. Anyway, Chuckle Bean. Awesome. So I think that's about it for items. Looks like we got everything. So let's talk to Lady Lima, who's doing a little jig up there. Yeah, here we go. Lady Lima. Well done, Mario Bros. Now we can welcome Princess Peach to our fair kingdom. Awesome. Yes. A round of applause for me, damn it. That sounds like a damn good idea. Ooh, pretty lights. Ooh. And ah, there's Princess Peach with nice. Toad Town music returning again from Mario 64, of course. Also, in Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie Kong's Double Trouble in uh, Wrinkly Save Cave. That's a little interesting tidbit there. Anyway, we got instantly teleported back to Bean Bean Castle Court, which is why you want to make sure you get all the items first, because now you're magically up here. Don't ask me how, video game logic. Uh oh, Princess Peach, representing the Mushroom Kingdom. It's Princess Peach becoming a significant character again, and with a little curtsy, greets the Mario Bros. No, shut up! Shut up! Wait a minute. Something's off here. <laughs> Wait, uh, uh, but, uh, well, wasn't her voice kid, kid, um, still, uh, I'm in confused. Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Now, come now, don't be so startled, I'm Toadsworth. My voices are not consistent for characters. I hope you've noticed that. WAS NEVER STOLEN! What? But we saw it happen. Oh no, Prince Beasley says. I knew Kekletter was after the royal voice, so I beat them to the castle and warned the princess, because I'm royalty and I can do that. So, this is a terrifying cutscene we saw at the beginning of the game. Apparently, it did not transpire the way we thought. I thought that Mushroom Mini was in ruin. What were we going to do? Ah, but it looks like Princess Peach was in hiding. She knew all along. But then, who the hell was the other Princess Peach? That! Oh, this is the... I guess we're going to find out. This is the Princess Peach. Okay. Oh, no wonder why. That explains it. It's that dumbass Birdo from Super Mario Bros. 2. USA, of course. A blowing kiss to everyone. Now chasing around the Bean Bean retainers. Birdo is insane. Oh, hello, Queen Bean in her stage presence. Every card in our hand is truly better than theirs. I think this is one of the only RPGs where really, like... You know, the good guys really had the upper hand on the bad guys. Like, there was no way for them to win. Not to mention, we beat Kakletta to a pulp anyway. We're going to completely ignore that whole cutscene with Kakletta and Bowser for now. So yeah, see? We defeated Kakletta nonetheless. That is something to be congratulated for. Yeah! Yeah, we did. Even though it was pretty easy, I'll take all the credit I can get. By the way, there's no sign of what's left of the Beanstar. We've established this like five times by now. Uh, we have to look for the four pieces of the Beanstar. And Prince Beasley's off, so we are going to let Prince Beasley search for the Beanstar while we don't. <laughs> We're going to actually uh, stay by Princess Peach's side. So that sounds like a pretty good idea. See you later, Prince Beasley. So we can explore the castle at our leisure, but I really don't think there's anything to do in here. So, uh, yeah, let's just head out. Alright, so back in Bean Bean Castle Town, we have plenty to do. Uh, hello, random person. 
Oh, ha! <laughs> I thank you, random NPC. I guess there is something to do in Bean Bean Castle. Let's go back and visit Princess Peach and Queen Bean. So that's pretty cool. You know, the princesses, I guess the rulers of two kingdoms. Where the hell is Queen, like, of the Mushroom Kingdom? Who the hell knows? Anyway, Mario Luigi. I was just speaking with Queen Bean. I can't do a female voice. Don't even ask me to try. I'm not going to even try. Anyway, Little Fungi Town. That sounds like an important thing because it was in blue text. It's also a town of immigrant toads. So Pe Princess Peach really wants to visit Little Fungi Town. Oh my god, Earthquake. And that's acceptable in theory, but to reach Little Fungi Town, you must travel through Teehee Valley. Dun dun dun. Teehee Valley is filled with vile monsters. It should be a little note. Very dangerous for Princess Peach. So yeah. <laughs> What the hell is up with Toadsworth's face there? Is his eyebrow on fire? It really looks like it's on fire. Anyway. Oh, ahem. I'm old. Yes, we get it, Toadsworth. You're old. Uh, so yeah. Toadsworth's gonna come up with a bright idea of Mario and Luigi escorting Princess Peach oh, to no. Little Fungi Town. <laughs> Luigi, shut up! Of course we will. So, I hate this part of the game. I really do. This escorting Princess Peach is such a pain in the ass, but... We gotta do it anyway, because we're the Mario Bros, and that's what we do. We get stuff done. Anyway, we should meet up north at the entrance to Teehee Valley. Allows me to excuse myself, Queen Bean. So, that's where we have to go next. We have to go to Teehee Valley. And then, the quest will continue. So we can do a bunch of stuff until then, but she's severely impressed. That's pretty awesome. Alright, so we have been entrusted with the princess's safekeeping. So, that is a pretty big task. We don't want to make this big thing pissed off. I mean, look at it. It's huge. Anyway. So now we have the freedom to do whatever we want in Bean Bean Castle Town. Now there is nothing to do in the castle, so let's get out of here. Alright, we have a lot of stuff we can do, but only a little bit that I will actually do. Uh, first off, I want to actually revisit the photographer that I said was a bad idea to do, because I realized via the comments, thank you guys in the comments for contributing to the project, because you do that, and you're awesome. You guys in the comments are awesome. We can talk to this photographer. He actually costs 100 coins to have his picture taken. But, not say no there. If you say no um, here when he presents the price, you, he'll actually lower his price down to 50 coins. Oh, the life of an artist is so hard, blah blah blah. 50 coins sounds good. So, we can pay half the money. I think 100 coins is worth it for some new photos. Time to update our photos, because the Koopa Cruiser is old news. We are in Bean Bean Castle Town. Are you ready? Also, he's gonna save the same spiel. Don't go pressing the D-pad. I'm gonna go pressing the D-pad. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's happy Luigi. Sad Luigi. Scared Luigi. Was that scared Luigi? I don't know. It looks like he had a pretty big smile. Um, let's see how that came out. Ah, oh, it's like Smiley Luigi. He's Smiley Luigi. Number one. All right, Mario. Let's see what Mario can do. One picture's 100 coins. No, hell no. You dumbass. How about 50 coins? Yeah, 50 coins sounds much better. Take these coins. They're yours. Give me a photo. All right, let's see what Mario has for poses. Not too sure. Already, are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, he's not gonna give me the little hint. Damn it! <laughs> I barely got a, I barely got a pose off, and it was like fat, bloated pea balloon Mario. <laughs> I didn't even know that was a pose. I didn't even know you could get that. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Okay. Anyway, that is awesome. Okay, we have um, a pretty major side quest to do at this point in the game. Uh, we could have done it before when I was in Bean Bean Castle Town doing all those side quests, and it's not down there. Um, I could have done it before, uh, but I didn't, because I kind of wanted to space out all the side quests. I don't want to do them all at once, but we can do it by talking to this old guy over here. Uh, so let's give him a talk. He's kind of like Rust T of the Mushroom Kingdom, really. He's perhaps the town's greatest intellect, and he's also egotistical. So something or other about an ancient soybean civilization has captured his focus and attention, but I'd like to hear my report. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, the ancient soybean civilization, the age of flying spin beans, tunneling mole beans, blah, 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 beans, beans, beans. Okay, we get it. You're beans. We're from the Bean Bean Kingdom, and you are beans. We get that. Anyway. So they apparently hid bean stones around, and his research says that bean stones are buried in this very town. So it's kind of like the Bean Lips quest, where, you know, we have to find the bean stones. However, it is much more annoying than the Beanlets quest because you can't actually see the bean stones. The bean stones are actually underground, and this hint tells you what to do. They're a bit on the short side, so you actually have to walk around as Mini Mario to find out where the bean stones are. Now, luckily, 
for the sake of this, I do have a guide with me, and not an online guide, the Prima Strategy Guide of Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga Online. Pfft, that's so, like, little kids do that nowadays. Anyway, you walk around and you see this little estimation mark. That's when you know, there's a beanstone! Beanstone! Uh, there's a beanstone! What the hell, I can't find this stupid- Ah, oh, there we are! Beanstone! Well, I have to be very, very specific with that beanstone spot, I guess. I don't know if there's another way to get it. Other than just to be, like, ultra-specific. Uh, the second one's down here from what the guide says, and we're gonna listen to the guide, because the guide knows all. There it is. Oh, you know, I think it goes, see, you can kind of see it. It goes by Mario's exclamation mark over his head. So, as he walks around, see, there we go. A big exclamation mark, it's like, it's right there. So, once you find it, you can switch to Luigi and use the dunk and grab the beanstone. You can actually get the beanstones, I'm pretty sure, without using the Mario, you know, walk around thing. Uh, if you really, like, memorize where they all are, I'm pretty sure you can get them regardless, but... Who the hell is gonna do that? Not me. Uh, so there's another one. This is beanstone number three. There are ten beanstones, as if this side quest wasn't drawn out enough. There are five in the east side and five in the west side. So we're on the west side, so we might as well get all the west side beanstones first. So let's continue walking around as Mini Mario to try and find some beanstones. Get out of the way, you friggin' civilians. I hate that when, like, NPCs just get in the way, and they're really annoying. Uh, that happened in Chrono Trigger a lot, because NPCs kind of walk around. I don't know. And there's one over here, so we might as well grab that. There's also one down there, but the guide says this one first, so listen to the guide. Listen to the guide. I got a beanstone. You know, these things kind of look like diamonds. I wonder if we can just sell them rather than give them back to that stupid, lechery old man, because selling them seems like a much better idea for profit. Not what I want to do. Back to Mini Mario. Where is it? There it is. Looks like it's right on the edge there. That's gonna be a tough one. Let's see. Jump! Come on, Mario, jump! That looks pretty... Come on, where is it? Where the hell is it? Small, small exclamation. There it is. Okay, that's the spot I want. That's the exact spot you have to be in to get the beanstone. You got a beanstone! Da-da-da-da, you got a thing! Anyway, onto the east side. East side marketplace. East side Mario's. East side... I don't know. <laughs> I forget. Any other thing that starts with east side, west side? No. Okay. Enough. Enough of that. Um, we now have to dunk Luigi and get a beanstone. What a surprise! We're gonna get more beanstones. So yeah, I wonder if we could actually sell these things because these things seem like they'd be much better if we sold them rather than give them to that stupid old man. But no, we do get actually a really good reward for doing this. It is a terrible. Terrible side quests. I hate these kind of side quests in video games where you just walk around and like look for these hidden objects. I absolutely despise them. But this is actually not too bad because it has a pretty big reward. Um, and there's only 10 of them. Well, no, nah, 10 still kind of a lot. I can't really defend the game on that front. I just hate these like seemingly unnecessary side quests. There's another beanstone right there in the southwest corner. I, yeah, I hate these. The Beanlets one is fine, because you can actually see the Beanlets. You can actually find them. It's like hide-and-seek type of thing. This, I hate this. I hate this. It's stupid. And this next one up here, which requires a high jump, so that means I have to screw up all my actions. It's fine. Uh, so, let us... No, we need Mario. There we go. Mario. Find me a Beanstone. There it is. Ah, excellent. Right in that exact spot. That's going to be tough to line up. Might have to do it from the top down. Yeah. Alright, swap and dunk. Excellent. I got a beanstone. Cool. Am I a fire? Jump, spin! Alright, so next one is right up here in front of this big building. Is this the last one? This might be the last one. I think this is the last one. That would be pretty awesome. Because I am sick of stupid beanstones right now. I don't know, I have nothing to talk about. I can only talk about beanstones for so long. Really. It's right over here. Come on, where is it? Where is it? It's like a metal detector. There it is. It's right in the corner. I don't know, if you, have you ever used like a metal detector on the beach? You always see people walking around with metal detectors. I've only used one once, it was kind of like a cheap plastic one though. But, I don't know, I guess people need a hobby. Kind of like I do Let's Plays, some people do metal detector. Let's play metal detector on the beach! Anyway, we, <laughs> that's completely a tangent. We found all the beanstones, perhaps! But, he's gonna reward us with an awesome badge, the Bros Rock badge. Bros Rock is really good. So, we are going to give it probably to Mario. Let's see. Oh, it actually, yeah, look at that. Boosts both bros points and attack power at this point. And the spiny badge A we got from Mom Piranha, so we might actually 
have to use that. It's a little bit of a disadvantage from Mario. Luigi, still down on bros points, but only minus two bros points. Yeah, that's a good trade-off. I like that. I like that. I like that. Excellent. All right. Now let's buy some equipment, because we need some more overalls and badges. So that sounds like a good idea. I want to buy some hot fashions. Right, where are the new things? There they are. No, no. We have... We have is there more stuff here? Was this stuff offered before? I don't know. Hard pants, heart jeans, parasol pants. Maybe it was. Maybe I'm just forgetful. I don't know. Uh -huh. So let's look at the new stuff. Plaid trousers. Number one trousers and safety slacks. Plaid trousers look like a pretty good deal for either Mario Bro. I would probably pick up a pair of those. Ah, now the number one trousers. You always move first. You get the first strike. Little bonus. I love getting the first strike bonus, so I'll probably get that. And this one actually gives you 60% poison dodge. Eh, not that good, because I'm pretty sure you can get, like, status immunity later on. Which, is, there's no point in getting 60% poison dodge. I hate that. Uh, but I will get the plaid trousers from Mario, because look at that. You do lose a little bit of HP, but you get a lot of uh, defense to make up for it. So, I definitely take those. And we definitely need to gear up for Tihi Valley, because Tihi Valley has some pretty tough enemies. Also, why don't we get the little information thing? It says it's new. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway. Let's see. Let's see. High jump, spin jump. Uh, Luigi, Luigi. Oh, there we go. The Bros Badge. Awesome. Better than the Sp Spiny Killer A. And we also have Advanced Splash Bros, which lets us jump on spiky enemies. So, I believe I'm just quickly surveying, and I believe we're going to get the bros badge because it also raises bros points yeah there we go the advanced splash bros actually lets you jump on spiked enemies uh you can jump on chuck guys anyway they're not spiked uh we do have some spiked enemies actually i think all of the enemies in Tihi valley are considered spiked so that might have been a useful badge to keep i'm kind of i don't know if i'm regretting that now but in any event uh what are we doing i'm kind of walking around not really sure of what to do next there's a lot of stuff we could do at this point but I think we should grab some items, because items seem a good idea. Hello, grotesque looking woman. I will buy some of your stuff. We now have awesome items on sale. We have super mushrooms, nuts, super nuts, and super syrups. First, I'm going to buy two one-ups. No, ah, shit. Two. Two one-ups. Thank you. All right, we have plenty of coins. Now, this is why you buy the greed wallet, or get the greed wallet from EGAD immediately, because <clears throat> otherwise you'd miss out on all these coins. And you really don't have to be very conservative with your money now. You can kind of just spend it on all the best stuff. I also like to have even numbers of items in RPGs. I don't know why. We'll get, grab 10 of everything. That seems like a pretty good amount. We do have to gear up for Tihi Valley, like I said. Because Tihi Valley can be pretty tricky. And finally, we have one more thing to do. And that final thing is to go over here. And not in here, because that is the wrong way. But we have to go in here. This is Star Beans Cafe. We were here before. And we are now back. We know how to use the special Star B system. So, what's my order? Let's see what I can make. What can I actually make? Can definitely not make a Hulu blend. My god. Okay. He also can't make a Woohoo blend. Damn it. Yes, I want to change it. I hate this menu. This menu is like so confusing. Oh, I can make a chuckle blend. Okay. I will gladly make a chuckle blend. I think that might be the only one I can make at this point. But I will make some more later. Uh, I don't, again, I kind of want to space these out. So this is three now that I've made. Three out of eight. Three out of seven. Three out of seven. It's come from afar, new kind of bean juice. Oh, hey, boss. What's with the weird vacuum? It's a highly improved model. It's the Poltergust 3001. Super Poltergust 3001. It's like Super Castlevania 4, not just Castlevania 4. Super. Anyway, um, so you can actually ride on the new Poltergust 3001. And you get it's going to go, whoa, too fast. I can't stop this crazy thing. Oh, we can, apparently. So that's his excuse for getting here in quick amounts of time to try new drinks. So he's going to try the chocolate blend. And he's going to like it, as always. And, of course, he's going to give us an item. He better give us an item, that cheap bastard. I mean, I'm sure he will. And there we go, the Excite Spring. Anyway, that's about all the time we have for this episode. So this is Shadow Mario 41. This is Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. See you guys next time. Ciao.